Hey everyone, it's Ashton. Alright, I'm so sorry that I have not had updated on videos. Um, this is something that needs to get done. I need to continue to post at least once a week. Um, where do I start? Okay. Body Beast. I haven't been doing it. Sorry. It sucks. Um, I want you to know that life happens and I've talked about this before, but life never stops. It doesn't pause. There's no pause button. There's no rewind button. And that's why we have to like live in the moment every single day because life never stops. It doesn't say, hey, you had a bad day or guess what? That life, unexpected life situation just happened to you. So I'm going to go ahead and pause that for one moment for you. And then once you're okay with everything, you can go ahead and get back to your life. Wouldn't that be just a nice little path to take care of? Taking your time, knocking down your walls that are in your way, or taking your time to go around the mountain or to climb up it, and being able to pause and get to where you want when you need to. <laughs> Guess what? That's not life. Life doesn't stop. That's why when something happens in my life, I take my moment and I get over it because it's time wasted to spend it sad or upset or angry because only I can control that. Yes, I have feelings. I do. And I go through them, but I get over them very quickly. And that's because my life doesn't stop. I can't pause for that time to be angry and be upset. Like I ha I, I'm a positive person. I don't like being upset. I don't like being angry. And that's why I just get over it. Um, I'm going off course, but anyways, back to a body beast. I haven't been doing it. Um, food hasn't been horrible. It's still snacky. I haven't been able to really cook. And I don't want to say I haven't been able to. It's an excuse. It really is. Right now, I've been giving excuses. Because honestly, I could be cooking the way that I want to. It's just a lot more difficult and a lot harder in the situation that I'm in. I have the ability to do it and I can do it. It's just going to have to be more time consuming, more doing this, more doing that. And apparently my excuses weren't good enough for that. I wanted to do other things. I wanted to um, get through this or that. So guess what? My excuse is going to go out the window and out the door because I'm done with that. Something that might be hard and difficult and more time consuming, guess what? It's going to be worth it in the end. And like I said, it's just, it's, it's an excuse. It really is. Things that are hard to do, things that are, you know, most things in life that are worth it are challenging, are hard. And then you get to go back and be like, yes, I did that. And it feels so much more rewarding knowing that it wasn't easy. It wasn't easy. So I am going to the store tomorrow. I'm going to get all the stuff that I need to. My vegetables, my fruits, my uh, wonderful lean protein. And I am going to this weekend cook. Whether it's a couple days in advance. So I'm going to make sure that like whether it's Saturday or Sundays that I am cooking like three or four days in advance for my meat and vegetables a um, couple days in advance and then that way I can just make all that stuff right away even if I'm having the same thing I'm okay with that <laughs> but um so 
I challenge you guys to really sit down for one moment and look at something in life that kind of feels like is an excuse. You know that you could be going or doing something that you really want to, but you have an excuse in your way. And when you take that second to think really about how you could possibly do this, because just because it's hard, it doesn't mean that it's impossible. It's just you have to work harder for it or you have to do more for it. But when you want to accomplish something, there's something that will trigger you. Something that will trigger you that will make you look and think about your goal and the reason why you're doing what you're doing and going through all the pain that you're going through and going through all the hard work to get where you are, something needs to re-trigger that. Being like, yes, I'm doing this because of this. I'm doing this because of this. I'm doing this because of this. And something today just really hit me and triggered something again that was like, hmm, guess what? Enough is enough. Enough is enough. So guess what? Foods, watch out. Ashton's coming back to you. (laughs) Um, Workouts though, like seriously, my workouts, oh, that sun is bright. Um, I'm not worried about my workouts. I'm actually more worried about overtraining than I am not doing my workouts. My workouts are like my life. I love, well, I don't want to say my life, but you know what I mean? They're my healthy addiction, but, um, yesterday was probably a little overdue because of stuff that I had to do and then stuff that I did do on top. Um, so foods getting at it. And today, you guys, today, seriously, five minutes. Give yourself five minutes to really look at what you are doing in your life. And those times that you're like, oh, I really couldn't do this. Or, um, man, I just, you know, I, I couldn't get this done because of this. Really sit and think. Do you think that you really did have the time to do it? Or you really could have done what you wanted to do? But you more gave yourself an excuse. Just think about that. And then find find that one thing. Look at quotes right now or look at something that will trigger your why again. You'll look at your why and you'll be like, oh my gosh, why did I, why did I not just do it? You need to keep something close to you that's a reminder of everything that you're doing in life and your purpose in life because when you do those roadblocks, I can't talk, those roadblocks and those mountains, they're going to seem small compared to that vision and that dream and that why and that goal, that thing that you're chasing after, that thing. is going to be the big thing. All right. You guys have an amazing day and we will talk to you later. Bye.